Hi, and welcome to this acid metal reaction exam question. Um, it's going to include multiple first year chemistry topics. So it's going to use an acid metal reaction to pull in several different things, including redox, um, mole calculations, and practical skills. So looking at the question as a whole, let's process it bit by bit. So this first bit obviously is about redox. You can see it says, um, in terms of the number of electrons transferred, explain whether magnesium is being oxidized or reduced. So remember, they specifically say in terms of the number of electrons transferred. So what you've got to work out is in the equation, what do the, what's the oxidation number of magnesium change from? And if it's gone up, it's been oxidized. If it's gone down, it's been reduced. And therefore, you can use your oxidation as loss reduction as gain idea to tell you how many electrons have been transferred. So if you have a look at that, obviously, we're just going to focus on magnesium because that's what the question is asking us to do. It's been oxidized because the oxidation number has gone up. But in terms of the number of electrons transferred, it has lost two electrons. The next bit is about moles. You need to start with the data you have about H3PO4. And from there, you can work out the moles of magnesium because there'll be a connection between the two using the equation. So once you've got the moles of magnesium, you can work out um, the mass of that and then convert your calculator value to three significant figures because that's what it asks you to do. So let's do that one. I'm going to use the data moles equation moles answer technique. And just to remind ourselves, the equation is at the bottom there. So starting with our data, we list that, and then you can work out the number of moles using C times V, concentration times volume. Remembering, of course, to divide your volume by um, 1,000. So you get 0 0.062 moles. And you can see from the equation, it's a 2 to 3 mole ratio between phosphoric acid and magnesium. So multiplying the phosphoric acid moles times 3 over 2 gives you 0 0.093. And to get the mass from that, you work out the 0.093 times the relative atomic mass of magnesium, 24.3. And that gives you 2.2599 as your calculator value, which converts to 2.26 if you're asked for three sig figs. So that's what goes in there. So the final part is having a look at um, practical skills. So you need to remember that the magnesium phosphate forms as a solid. So if I just point to the magnesium phosphate in the equation, you can see its state symbol is S and not AQ. So what you need to do is think about how you might obtain an insoluble solid from an aqueous solution. Once you recognize that and realize that what's going on, once you've had that moment in your head, you'll know it's quite straightforward. So just reminding ourselves that it's a solid that's insoluble. The first thing you have to do is to filter that solid off. And then the second thing you do is you allow the filtered solid to dry by evaporation of any remaining water. And then you'll have your, your sample of magnesium phosphate. Okay, thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.